Let's make an easy arugula pesto to go with our pasta tonight. Yum. I am using this almost full five ounce container. You can use four cups or whatever. It put about a big old about tablespoon of minced garlic. I got this from Costco. We're adding a third a cup of almonds. You're supposed to do pine nuts, and if you don't have pine nuts, you're supposed to do cashews. And because I have neither one of them, I am using almonds because that's what I have. We're going real fancy and getting Winco shredded Parmesan and doing about a third of a cup in there as well. Some salt and pepper, and then, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and then we're just going to blend it up. And it should go from this, there's the side view, to this. Look how pretty it is. Look at that beautiful color. I would probably line it with some like Parmesan cheese and some slivered almonds, so people know if this was a if this was a dip or something, um, so people know there's nuts and cheese in it. And of course, the best part, there's even a little bit of almond. It's delicious. Let's see how it goes with spaghetti. There she is with some Parmesan on top. Now let's mix it together. Mix together and let's see how the hubby likes it now. My husband loved the pesto and I think it needed some more like nuts on top because I like the almonds in it. I loved the almonds in it. I don't, I think I'll make it always with almonds now. It's so good. And arugula and not basil because basil is very expensive. Very good. Very easy to make. Uh, if you have a food processor, probably would have been easier than that. I have my Vitamix, so that's what I was going to use. Anyways, it's very good. I'm definitely going to use it on some gnocchi this week and see how that tastes as well. But on the spaghetti, it was perfecto. He even asked for it to be taken to work the next day. So, very happy. Hope you guys enjoy. And there he is. Yeah.